It's a start of a new week, so it's a start of some transfer business. Well, not really, because it's not like the window's open, but guess what? Teams get business done, and we're going to dive into it. And Rangers have been linked with Luis Palma for what seems like 10 years at this point. Absolute bloody 10 years of purgatory here, because this guy it just seems, oh, 4.3 million, 4.2, 4.4, 4.5. Um, but he did describe his last game as the last dance, which is all good, but... Uh, I don't know. I, I doubt Rangers are going to spend four point three million on him. But you know, you can leave your uh, opinions down below. But Morelos, he's a guy that's at Rangers, but he will be leaving next season definitely. And his wife has uh, indicated their departure from Glasgow is already underway. I mean, I doubt they were going to stay in Glasgow and move to Celtic, so it makes total sense that they're going to leave Glasgow. And I think they'll be leaving. I think they'll be leaving the UK. I, I don't know where Morelos is going to go. Be interesting to see where Kent Morelos' careers go for here. Whether they can. Go to another level. In my opinion, no. I think it's just going to... Their careers are going to peter out and they're literally just going to be remembered for their spells at Rangers. And that's not me giving it the big in because they've left. I just feel like that's what's going to happen. Um, personally. Leon Balogun, though. He's expressed his disappointment at leaving Rangers last summer and he was at Sunday's 3 nil Or Saturday's 3 nil win over Celtic, which was a lovely jubbly. Can't complain about it. And yeah, I don't think we should ever go rid of Balogun... Some people will probably want them, probably want them back, but I don't know. I feel like once you get rid of somebody and they're 34, I mean, if you could bring them back on a free, which it would be, it wouldn't seem as bad, but bringing in a 34-year-old centre-back, I don't know. I, I think that doesn't, that doesn't fit the mould. doesn't fit the mould, brother. Hibernian manager Lee Johnson has dropped the transfer hint by saying that he hopes to keep his low knees ahead of next season, so... They've already brought in Ellie Ewan permanently, so whoever else, Will Fish, I doubt they'll get Will Fish for United. Not that like he's going to ever get into the United team. Well, I mean, that's what I don't get, right? See Will Fish, is he truly worse than Harry Maguire? Harry Maguire! Harry Maguire is shite. Make no mistake about it. Uh, Celtic centre-half Calvary Carter Fickers, whose season was ended by a knee injury, has refilled the underwent surgery last week. His leg is as good as it can be, but admit it, it's hard to put a timeline on it at the minute. At the moment, when asked about when he can return to action, which could be crucial for Celtic at the start of next season, um, I think thankfully for them, of course, when you finish first now, you, you go straight into the Champions League. But I think we're also going to do the coefficient. Maybe next season, whoever finishes first will have to go into qualifier. So, not good from that point of view. Um, and not good for Aberdeen, because there's fears that top goal scorer for Aberdeen, Duke, his season could be over after the forward limped off in the second half of Saturday's 0-0 draw with Hibs. I think he just faked that, because tell you what, that game was that shite no one will be a part of it. I can't believe I sat and watched that game. Like, the T fault at the beginning, the 40-year stuff, and then Nisbet missed about 10 chances, but Aberdeen did nothing, man. For such a deadly strike force that we've been hyped up to here, on exactly uh, bringing the ratings in, were they? Well, Leeds United are among Premier League clubs monitoring 16-year-old Aberdeen centre-half Jamie Eaton. Mercy Brighton, no value, are trying to push through a deal for 16-year-old centre-back uh, from Celtic Ronan Ferns submitting a six-figure offer after rival Premier League clubs expressed an interest. So, yeah, you're beginning to see us a lot more that Premier League clubs are coming in for a lot of Scottish youngsters. So, yeah, I mean, six figures is still a decent bit for a 16-year-old, but you think maybe Celtic be like, no, we're keeping them. Celtic go, I have the high ground. Uh, probably not, but tell you what, Goodwin saying that United's horror show in defence cannot happen again. There, there's me sitting there saying that, aye, Dundee United are staying up every day of the week. And I actually want to we, we look at the league table here. We look at the league table. Um, of course, you know, the top two sort it. I mean, I'd even go as far as saying that Aberdeen are sort it. Realistically, what... Oh, what can happen for Aberdeen? Well, I mean, I guess they've already played um, Rangers, but they to play Celtic. So, again, it's just Hearts, Hibs and St Mirren have all to play those two as well. So, well, apart from Hearts, they, they don't have to play Celtic, but they to play Rangers, St Mirren, I believe, have to play both of them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the top six is pretty pretty irrelevant at this stage, if we're being honest, because I, I don't see it changing much. Like, obviously... Well, I mean, I say the positions that mark because, you know, third will get you the guaranteed spot if Celtic win the Cup, and I think that's going to happen. But for Hearts, Hibs and St Mirren, I mean, I guess that really could finish in any order, but I, well, I say any order. I think the only two real positions off the grab are fourth and fifth. Um, St Mirren, 
really could have done with that win against Hearts. That would have put them into that fight, but kind of took them out of it with that uh, draw. It probably feels like a defeat. Motherwell, no surprise there that they are 7th and winning every fucking game. Recently, well, I'll say recently, man, the record's not exactly that good, but you get where I'm coming from. Uh, then we've got Livingston, who are just shite at the minute. There's no two ways about it, they're just shite. St. Johnson, who, you know, they picked up four points before that recent defeat, which is which has helped them, but if you look at it, how much has it really helped them? Because, damn, the things aren't looking particularly uh, toasty for them, because Ross County and Kelly both won there, and then they are what, two points behind St. Johnson, Ross County are three points. Well, Dundee United are a whopping five, but Dundee United, I said they were all but up, and now, look at it, lost two games on the spin, and their last a serious chance of going down and it's not only that you look at the championship I mean Air Partick Thistle would you really bet against would you really bet whoever's going to finish 11th would beat those two I mean look at Kelly look at their away form fucking shite Rugby Park's a bit better but go on guys but till next time leave your thoughts down below can't wait we've got a game on Tuesday but until then peace